please subscribe mat.com for any query comments or email hello everyone in today's lecture we will see how you can uh, factorize an algebraic expression expression by means of the algebraic identities what are the algebraic identities there are, uh, we will discuss four algebraic identities here that will help you for solving long calculations in short ways basically algebraic identities help you in solving the long calculations in short way algebraic identity number 1 is x plus a into x plus b is equals to x square plus a plus bx plus ab this is the algebraic identity number 1 next is a plus b whole square is equals to a square plus b square plus 2ab third identity is a minus b whole square equals to a square plus b square minus 2ab and the fourth one is a minus b multiplied by a plus b is equals to a square minus b square so these are the four identities that will help you in solving your long calculations in short way these identities basically provide the rules for solving long calculations in short way it means when you will be given with a question that that uh, is going wrong due to its calculations or due to its simplification we can use these identities to make it short let's see how you can apply these identities on some examples and how you come to know that where you have to on which question you have to apply which identity so that you can easily um uh, get advantage advantage of these identities in your uh, so in uh, in solution of the algebraic expressions or in factorization of the algebraic expressions let's see one by one that how you can use these identities first of all we will see how you can use identity number 1 that was number 1 it was so you uh, you will come to know that this identity should be used where let's have an example to say to see how to implement this identity we have an example that is now it is clear from here that we can apply the identity number 1 on this question how you have to check the few things here you have to compare the, the question with the identity let's see how you can compare we will write the identity here you have to compare it, it to its left hand side to check whether you can apply, apply it or not if we compare this example with the left hand side of the identity it is clear that we have the same um, uh, form as of the identity number 1 having the uh, variables or having having the variables or um, or constants in a uh, in exactly the same way in the same structure there uh, they are of the exactly the same structure except the Uh, constants are replaced by and uh, the value by the uh, values a is replaced by 2 and b is replaced by 3 it means we can apply this uh, identity on the this exam so let's apply this uh, apply um, the identity on this example as we can write it exactly equal to the right hand side of the identity as x square as x and x are the same plus a plus b in our example a is 2 and b is 3 so we can right for convenience as as here a and b so we can add 2 plus 3 and we have to write x in the multiplication form okay then plus a and b when it means you have to multiply value of a and b okay so we'll simplify it as x square plus 5x plus 5 so this is the answer of the given um example if we do it by by the other way that is by multiplying each element with the second expression uh, one by one it will take time or it will be long comparatively to the to applying the identity over here so this is how you can make use of the identity at places where uh, you can use them other than um, for other than following the long calculations okay so we will move towards the identity number 2 identity number 2 is identity was now let's have an example how you can apply it to avoid the long calculations 
if you are given with the example like 4a plus 3b whole square. Now, first you have to see whether you can apply this identity here or any other identity you can apply it here. Let's see. If we say, if we compare it with the identity number 1, you can say, see that there is no common thing between the identity number 1 and this example. So, we have to compare it with identity number 2. Now, it is clear that here there is a resemblance of the form that its left hand, left hand side uh, of the identity is just like this example. So, we can apply this identity on this example. Let's see how you can apply. You just convert it into its right hand side. So, right hand side will be a square. Here the a is 4a. So, we will write 4a square plus here b is 3b. 3b square plus 2 a is 4a, we will replace a with 4a and b with 3b. Okay? So, you, what you will get? You will get 16a square plus 9b square plus 24ab. So this is the result of, the, of applying the identity on an example that is having the same structure as that of the identity number 2. So, this is how you can apply a certain identity on a given algebraic expression depending on the similarity of the structure, the, the structure should be same and the values and the um, operator, you have to check the operator that is the sign between the terms should be same as that of the identity in order to use the, the uh, uh, required identity. Uh, the next is, um, now we will see the next identity, the identity number 3, it was a minus b whole square is equals to a square plus b square minus 2ab. Okay. This is the identity number 3. Let's have an example. How you can apply or what kind of structure should you, ha you should have so that you will be able to apply this identity. The example is 3a minus 2b whole square. If you are given with the examples like this and the, there may be any uh, terms here and here but one thing must be common that is the square and the negative sign in between. If it is same, then you must apply the identity number 3 on the given expression. Now, we can convert our example into the right hand side of the identity number 3. Let's see how we are given with 3a minus 2b whole square. We can write as a square. Here a is equals to 3a. So, we will write 3a square plus b is equals to 2b. We will write 2b whole square minus 2 into a is 3a and b is 2b. Okay. Then it will give you 9a square plus 4b square minus 12ab. Okay. So this is the required answer of the given algebraic expression by applying the identity. You can see that you can uh, easily uh, do this by just applying quickly a formula rather than uh, uh, rather than splitting the given example into two uh, expressions and then multiply them together and to get the result. So, it is time saving. Basically, identities help you to save your time. Next is identity number 4. The expression of the identity was a minus b into a plus b is equals to a square minus b square. Now, we, have, we will have uh, an example how you can apply it on a certain example so that you can easily compare and you can have the concept how to apply it. So, example is 3x plus 2, 3x minus 2y into 3x plus 2y. Now, it is clear from here that we have two expressions that are multiplying from each other with each other. Okay, in identity it is also the same. We have two terms in both the expressions. Yes, it is the same. So, and the and in one expression there is a negative uh, sign and the other there is a positive. So, we can apply this identity on this example. So, let's see how you can apply it. We will convert it into the uh, right hand side of the identity number 4 as A is this and B is this. Okay. So, A square means 3x square. 3x square. And the sign will be minus and the b is 2y. So, we will write 2y square. Simplify it as 9x square plus 4y square. So, this is the result of applying the identity number 4 on certain example 
so can you so you can have is you can have a concept how you can apply apply the identities on the certain expressions to have the shortest solution to the simplification of certain algebraic expression thank you thank you for watching if you like this video please don't forget to subscribe our channel math.com for more updates thank you